Hi everybody, my name is Vera Chikezi OK and I'm the sexologist for Wholesome Sexuality. Wholesome Sexuality right here, we teach you and provide you with clean sexual content, the way God desired it, the way God planned it. All you need to do, aside from watching, yeah, like, share, comment, turn on your post notifications so that you can know when we have new content or when we have uploaded new content for you. Now let's talk about sex. So today we're going to be talking about sex languages. I don't know why I'm jiggy and I'm excited, but um, this video is going to save a lot of people. I know. I know. So, aside from being a certified sexologist, I'm also a certified relationship and marriage counselor. Mm -hmm. That's it. I am. And so, part of our training in counseling, we are taught about love languages. Five love languages in relationship. It's the same way we have five sex languages. Basically, what's a language? Language is what you speak. So, in love. <laughs> The language you speak in love is your love language. The way you speak your love is your love language. And the sex language is the way you speak for sex. Basically, where you want to have sex or the kind of sex you want to have is the language you speak, your sex language. Now, for love languages, we have acts of service, we have quality time, we have physical non-sexual touch, we have words of affirmation. Okay, so in the sex languages, we also have five sex languages. Right. The five sex languages are basically how you want to have sex or how you have sex. Now, for instance, one of the sex languages is fun. The person who speaks fun as has his or her sex language is the person who wants spontaneous sex. Is the person who wants to have sex any other place other than the, the bedroom. Is the person who just wants to generally have fun. Yes. So number one sex language is fun. Number two sex language is desire. This person wants to be chaste. This person wants to feel wanted. This person wants to feel top of the game. Right. So this person's sex language is desire, pleasure. The person who speaks pleasure as his or her sex language is the one that always wants to please his or her spouse. That's pleasure. So pleasure is another sex language. Remember we started with fun, then the second one is desire, then the third one is pleasure. The fourth sex language would be patience. This person wants to be explored. This person is not in a hurry. This person is not in a hurry at all. This person wants you to take your time. This person wants to savor every moment, wants to enjoy every touch. This person wants to be romanced, right? So I'll take it from the top again. The first one is fun. The second one is desire. The third one is pleasure. The fourth one is patience. And the fifth sex language would be acceptance and celebration. This is the person who wants every part of his or her body to be appreciated. So when you are on any parts, it's not just touch and go. You will stay there, you will dwell there, you will tell the person. It's just like saying, it's liking to um, words of affirmation. So you are telling the person, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, God really did a lot of work creating this. this. Oh, God did this. Oh, this is amazing. The beauty of sex languages is when you understand your spouse's sex language and you begin to speak your spouse's sex language, you begin to grow together. You begin to explore more horizons. You begin to explore more boundaries. You begin to go in depth. Now, you begin to enjoy pleasurable sex. But see, until you speak your spouse's sex language, you are just hovering in the dark. 
sex is beyond orgasm. And this, I've just given you, could be the key to your spouse's orgasm. Imagine her sex language is um, desire. And you just come back from work every day, oh, you use a and you just, you know, mount her and you move. She can't enjoy, you have not scratched the surface of it. But the moment, this kind of person, you will send her a message in the day. You will send her this. You will talk to her. You will send her voice notes. You know, you will whine her. You will woo her. The chase. She's enjoying the chase. The chase is increasing the anticipation. And guess what? Remember I've told you here that the anticipation of the unknown is causes an increase in dopamine. And dopamine is a key factor to pleasurable sex. So now imagine that you are doing all this and it's heightening. She's enjoying the chase, right? You would pleasure her and she would be satisfied. But imagine that she wants desire and you are speaking fun. So while you're thinking about swinging from fan to fan, jumping from staircase to kitchen, she's thinking about, ah, this guy's not even chasing me as in his mind. I'm just, I'm just available, right? These little, little, little things cause issues in your marriage bed. So please take your time. Take your time to understand your spouse's sex language. Just imagine now, with all the things I'm saying now, so people still say sex is boring. As in, with all these things I've been listing out, you will not still say that sex is boring. It cannot be boring. The same way you spend time to understand how your partner wants to be loved is the same way you spend time to understand how your partner wants to have sex. All this, all the discoveries, explorations, and all whatnot, heightens the expectation and the dopamine for sex. Trust me, you would have a fulfilling sexual experience. You just need to know your spouse's sex language and speak it. So I come your way next week. My name is Vera Chikezioki, and I'm the sexologist for wholesome sexuality. Thank you.